सारे स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सोनल लाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट के आई कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द कोर्स लीनियर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेवल शिफ्टर्स सो एज वी नो लेवल शिफ्टर्स इज वन ऑफ द स्टेजेस इन द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ द लेवल शिफ्टर्स so what is the necessity of the level shifting stage in the op amp so due to the direct coupling at the initial stages of the op amp the dc level of the signal gets shifted from its reference that is zero volt so in order to reduce that dc shift we need this level shifting circuits so here i would like to ask you the question that in differential amplifier the input signal passes through which stages you can pause this video and try to answer this question welcome back so i had asked you a question that in differential amplifier the input signal passes through which stages so the input signal will first of all go through the input stage that consists of dual input balanced output differential amplifier followed by a dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier now due to the direct coupling between the initial stages the dc level of the signal gets shifted from its reference that is from zero volt and therefore in order to reduce that dc shift we need the level shifting circuits okay so let us start with the various level shifting circuits that we can use so the first circuit that we can use is the simple emitter follower circuit so now why we are using the emitter follower circuit here because its gain is 1 since its gain is 1 it will not alter the swing okay just it will be used to reduce the dc shift introduced that is suppose that at the when the signal this is the input signal when it passes through the intermediate stage the dc level gets shifted like this so this is nothing but what this is the dc shift that has been introduced introduced in the input signal so we need to reduce the dc shift to zero volt that is we need to bring back the signal to the reference level so that is what is expected and in order to get the signal we need this level shifters so here the input signal for this stage will be from the intermediate stage okay so at this base terminal the signal will be given from the intermediate stage that is dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier so now if we apply the kvl at the base emitter loop of this q5 we can write this equation as v in minus the voltage draw, voltage potential difference across the base emitter terminal that is vbe minus drop across this r1 r2 since the same current is flowing through them so r1 and r2 are in series minus of minus vee 
okay, is equal to 0. Now, if you want to measure the output voltage here, the output voltage with respect to ground will be equal to, so this is minus of I e into R 2 minus minus plus V e e is equal to V 0 or V 0 is equal to V e e minus I e into R 2. So, if by adjusting the value of R 2, we can adjust the output voltage here in order to reduce the DC shift. So, this is one of the circuits that we can use for level shifting. Okay. Now, one more circuit that we can have, we will slightly modify this circuit where this R2 has been connected to minus VEE. Now, we will directly connect it to the ground. Okay. So, the alternate level shifter So, again the here the input will be from the intermediate stage always remember. Okay. So, here if I want to determine voltage across this R2 with respect to ground, then output voltage is equal to R2 divided by using voltage divider rule. V0 is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into the voltage applied here is V5. So, the voltage available at the emitted side is V5. So, it is V5. Okay. Now, So, how much is this V5? This is V in minus VB E. Okay, the voltage available at the base terminal is V in. So, V is equal to V in minus V B E. So, this is the output voltage. Okay. Thus, by adjusting the values of R1 and R2, we can adjust the value of output voltage. That is, in order to reduce the DC shift, we can adjust the values of R1 and R2. Now, the one more circuit that is consisting of PNP and NPN transistors. Now, the next circuit is using the PNP and NPN transistors.
Okay, so here a uh, transistor Q1 is the PNP transistor, whereas Q2 is the NPN transistor. So now, if we apply KVL at the input side, what will be the equation? It is VCC minus I1 into R1 minus VBE1 minus V in is equal to 0. Therefore, I1 R1 is equal to VCC minus VBE1 minus V in. Therefore, I1 is equal to VCC minus VBE1 minus V in divided by R1. Now, V0 is equal to, here V0 is equal to how much? It is I1 into R2. So, this will give us R2 divided by R1 into bracket VCC minus VBE1 minus V in. So, here also if you see that V0 is based on the values of R1, R2, VCC, VB1 and V in. So, out of that if we adjust the values of R1 and R2, we can adjust the output voltage that has been generated here. So, here we can reduce the DC shift using the PNP and NPN transistors. So, along with this different, so using these techniques we can reduce the DC shift that has been introduced at the intermediate stage to 0 with the help of level shifting circuits. Here we can make use of simple emitter follower, so, uh, so alternate uh, emitter follower circuit and using PNP and NPN transistor. Along with these circuits, we can also make use of constant current bias in order to reduce the DC shift. Just you have to replace the emitter resistance by the constant current bias circuit or the current mirror circuit so that the level shifting can be done. Thank you.